Hello again everyone and welcome back to this series on how to draw great art. Now before we start of course, if you haven't already subscribed, could you do that please? Thank you very much. And also ring the little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well the great art today is possibly the most famous painting in the world. That's Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Now it's a very enigmatic painting, you know that famous smile? And it's mainly, you know, achieved by a couple of techniques that uh, Leonardo used. And those were sfumato, which is uh, originally meant fumo, is a, means smoke or smoky, and uh, it's the kind of smokiness of the light and shade. And the other word was chiaroscuro, which is the difference between the light parts and the dark parts that makes the solidity of the figure. Okay, so those two techniques, especially around the eyes and the mouth. So I'm going to start with the eyes, and they're kind of, they look as if they're half closed, they're slightly sleepy. You know, so you get this curve coming up like that, and then coming down a bit more sharply at this side, and then you have the line of the eyelid, and the sumato that I'm talking about, that smoking, the thick and the slightly blurred lines on the shading, come round about uh, the eyes here. They blend from the dark to the light, you know. Uh, so she's looking out at you, so you get this sense of the pupil of the eye looking this way, the dark part, the centre like that, and a little bit of shading underneath. Other eye starts about here, and it's slightly more open that one, just slightly, more of a curve, like that, and then the eyelid and then the nice soft shading coming up like that. No eyebrows. I don't know if that was fashion or not or she didn't have any eyebrows but uh, that's uh, that's the kind of soft line you get there. Now this eye here again she's looking out towards you so this pupil is coming in here like that with the dark part there. And again no real harsh sharp edges, it's a, it's a softness, you know, like that. Okay, now quite a high forehead, she has, she's wearing a veil actually, so we see the end of the veil coming in here, and above that you get the curve of her hairline coming in with the parting in the middle. Coming down like that, and this side, her head comes down or hair, like that, and you see the edge of the veil disappearing in about there. And her forehead, nice curve, like that, and then this, again, the shading kind of blends in towards her eye. Nice rounded cheekbone coming down towards the chin, and a kind of rounded chin, quite a full face actually. Now the nose is really long actually, comes down, you don't see much on this side. Very light, comes down to the nostril there, then the tip of the nose, coming in like that. There's a lot of shading in here, but let's draw the outline just now. And then this part here, then a little bit of the indentation top lip. Now the famous mouth, of course, uh, and dips down in the centre, like that, and it's a kind of half smile, you know, it uh, this curves up like that, it's quite full as well, the lips are quite full, you have that curve, and then a nice curve going up like that, see that kind of look there, then the fullness of the lips, coming in, like that. And again there's lots of fumato shading, soft shading, blood shading around about the mouth, which I'll put in later. And a little touch under here with the bottom lip. And then some shading around the chin. Okay, so moving back up here again. So a nice lots of bit of shading, soft shading in here. And the line of the 
here at the top. Goes in like that and round, and it's straighter down this side. Goes down like that. And the line of her hair actually gets lost a bit in the shadow of her cheek. But well, I'll put this in just now as a line coming in, coming down here, and her neck appears like that. Coming down to this shoulder. And her hair appears coming over her shoulder there. And as it comes over her shoulder, it kind of breaks up into little tresses, you know, little curls, see that, coming down like that. And then the shoulder continues there. And she's got a, a roll bone which comes up and disappears in there. And then she has her dress which curves across there. And it's uh, a couple of lines of stitching. There's a couple of lines there like that. And then this is kind of ruched coming down here like that. That kind of shape, which I'll finish later. And the little kind of almost like leaf shapes coming in there, right across, okay? And this side also breaks up into little tendrils like that. Into little curls. Okay, and all this becomes dark, very dark, black almost. And then that blends into the folds and the creases on her cloak. And down like that, so the, on both sides there. And then another kind of crease coming in here. Well, let's carry up here and finish her chin. And it's uh, again a soft bit of shading coming up there. And you see a bit of the underside of the chin here. Okay, so that's the basic shapes. Now we'll start to do a bit of shading in there, okay? Okay, right, well the dark areas are very dark. So I'm going to start up here. This is a 6B pencil, by the way. Um, I'm going to start this by shading in, put a bit of weight on, on the pencil here and shade in these dark areas like this all the way down. So our hair is very dark on both sides there. The parting is not very light, but you can, you can just about see it, you know, coming in there. So we'll shade all this right down here and then we'll move on to the shading around the eyes. Right, I'm just finishing off the dark shading or hair. I won't do any more just now at the bottom. I'll do that at the end, but we'll move up now to the eyes, okay? Um, as I said, it's a good idea to protect your drawing with a, another bit of paper, to prevent it from smudging. Okay, round about the eyes, the famous sfumato of the shading. So you get this nice dark bit in here, and take the weight off the pencil as you're going up, around the eye like that, and then dark around the top, or the eyelid here, nice dark bit there. And then there's this nice curve coming around the muscle at the side of the eye. Come in here, like that. And a bit more shading down here. A bit of shading down the side of the nose, but not too much. In here. And then a bit down here. And a little bit more under the eye here. Now the actual eye itself Quite a heavy line on the top eyelid there. And then this center part, very dark. No, no highlights on the, on the eye. And uh, take your weight off for that part there. Okay, a bit more shading coming in here. And coming up like that. And this eye here, again the dark centre part, and the outside part there. Another curve. And then a bit uh, heavier shading around this part as it blends up into the darkness of the hair. Like that. 
and then a bit lighter as it comes around this side. A bit of shading under the bottom of the eye here. And a bit of shading in there. Okay, now we're going to move up to the side of the head now. Uh, side of the forehead, but shading and it kind of blends in with the hair as it comes up and a bit more shading there and then just sharpen up this line of the, the veil which comes out and then you see the edge of it coming out over there and you get a bit more shading around this side like that, nice and soft down towards the eye and that blended in a wee bit, not too much, much more blended in here as it comes down and then comes around our cheekbone. There, like that, again blending it into the hair. And the cheekbone here, and be a bit of shading under that, quite soft. And a little bit of shading down this side of the nose here. And then underneath the nose, getting a quite a distinct bit of shading here, like that, kind of following the shape of the, of the bottom of the nose coming up, like that, it's quite dark, coming in there. Okay, now the wee bit of uh, shading and indentation here, and then the mouth. Heavier line between the lips that curves up, and then that nice little crease at the corner there, and a little bit darker in this part, and then lighter as it comes towards the center, like that. And then a little curve around there, and a bit more shading there to bring out the round shape of the chin there, like that, okay, and a little bit darker under there, following that line, but you also get a bit of reflected light in there, so a little shading in there and then a bit darker around that part, and you also got a shading underneath there, which is quite dark too blending up into the, the hair. Okay, you start to take shape now. You can see. Okay, I'm going to move down now to this part and put a bit of shading across here. And then the cloak itself. You get darkness in the, the creases of the cloak here. And forward coming down like that, and then kind of middle tone over the top of that very quickly. And you can sketch that in with these kind of lines, and there's some shading coming in here as well. You've got a shadow going across the front, okay, and uh, a bit more detail in here. And a bit more shading up here, going across the brow slightly. They're all nice and soft, it blends in, one bit of tone blends into the next. But the effect of chiaroscuro, which is the light and dark, that actually models and shapes the whole, the whole face. There we are, shading down here. A bit more shading around here too now. Up this side, a little bit of light shading. Join up to the shading around the cheekbone there. Quite a rounded face. Lisa Giaconda is her name. And the painting was called at one point La Giaconda. 
is actually Vasari, Renaissance chronicler, who named it Mona Lisa. Nice soft shading all the way around like that. And a bit more shading in here. Pick out the edge of the nose there. And a bit more under here. Middle tone shading coming down on the neck. And a bit of shading down the side of the hair. Like that. Okay. Now while I was doing that, of course, I forgot to put these details in, which I'll do right now. Right, just finishing off, putting the finishing touches to these wee bits of detail down here. These lines on her, on her robe. Darken that up slightly. Excellent. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you can join me again for another tutorial on great art or anything else for that matters. But in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.